Today's uh, project isn't so much a hack. Uh, this is more just like a smart buy. And it's a, it's a cool little thing. Any, anybody that, uh, you know, had the gumption could pull this off in a heartbeat. No tools, nothing. This is, this is a real, real cool one for anybody that would be interested in doing a cheap webcam. Now the story behind this is, I'm out running around doing some errands. I look to the left and what do I see? GameStop. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the GameStop, it's a really neat little place. Primarily, it's uh, used video games. And uh, the reason I like to go in there, I hadn't been there in a couple of years, so I figured, well, I'll pop in and see what they got in there now. People will bring their old video game systems and their peripherals, all their little video game junk they got laying around. They'll bring that in there, give it to the GameStop guy, and they, they get a little bit of store credit on a uh, used game. So what GameStop does, they put these peripherals and accessories in little plastic bags, slap one of these cards on here with an incredibly low price tag on it, and pass the savings on to me, which is awesome because you'll never know what you find when you go in there. They've got power supplies. They've got all sorts of audio and video cables and connectors. There's controllers, wireless controllers. There's light guns. There's... They even had microphones in there. I mean, I don't know if that's for uh, microphone, ah, microphone hero. I mean, video, uh, video game. I'm thinking, you know, I need some, not not a microphone. That's you know, I'm singing in the shower. It's that, is that fun? I don't know. So anyway, I go in there today, and I notice they've got a, 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 almost about ten of these suckers, and it's a uh, it's a PlayStation Two I toy it's called. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, well, that's got to be a, a color camcorder, color camera, right? And and so I, well, I look over here and lo and behold, what do we have here? A USB plug. So I'm thinking, excellent. And on top of it, it's $2.99. So I'm thinking, this is excellent. Even if I can't get it to work on the XP, I can always use a color camera for a project, you know. So I, I come up to the counter, I grab the thing, come up to the counter, and there's this younger guy, you know, GameStop. And uh, so I said, do you know anything about this? And he said, oh yeah, I had, I had one of those. And I go, really? And he said, it's a, is it a color camera? He goes, yeah, but you can't take pictures with it. Yeah. Here's a picture for you. My ass, okay? So I go, well, can, can you hack them? Can you hack this? And he goes, no. No, no, that's uh, that's for PlayStation 2. It's not uh, not PC compatible. So I said, well, yeah, but it's got a USB plug on there. And I said, it's only four wires in USB. I said, you know, pin one is ground. Pin four is the uh, positive 12 volts or 5 volts. And pin two and three are the data. And with that, it would just be the video signal. So he goes, no, no, I, I really wouldn't uh, recommend that. It's not, it's not what it's for. And I said, well, no, dude, I've done this before. I got the little color camera module out of an Infinity, out of the rear bumper for the, for the reverse camera. And I, I turned that into, uh, I used it as a webcam once, and I put mounted it in my air conditioner for a security camera. It's, there's four wires. It's power and then the signal. You know, you can put an RCA plug on here and plug it into your VCR and hit the input for auxiliary and there's your video. It's simple. And he goes, no, no, you'd really, <laughs> I'm afraid you need a professional for that. And I said, the only thing you need for this is some balls. Then he got a little weird and he was trying to rush me out of there. So I told him a little bit more about how I can hook this up to my bicycle with an LCD coming off of the generator on my bike and have a little rear view camera all running on my boat. He just wanted to blow me out the door. So here's a big to the boys at GameStop. There you go, GameStop. Stop on this, buddy, and get your professional because you're probably going to need some help. Now, I've been active on the, very, unfortunately very active on the internet for 15 years. Um, you know, I've been... Uh, a member of a BBS for as long as I can remember. I love bulletin boards. Uh, now, you know, a great way to communicate over the internet. Now, uh, for my buddies, you know, and I've, I've got friends out of state, it's really cool to get yourself a headset mic and then you utilize Skype or Yahoo Messenger. Rather than be on the phone, 
you can put this thing on you know it's a couple of bucks I think I paid two dollars a pair for my headsets I got some cheap ones and the, the sound quality is better than the telephone the Skype program is free and I mean it's just fantastic we do gaming where we're you know we can talk while we're playing games between a guy in Chicago and another guy in Arizona so I mean I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed that with the the free service with Skype and the quality of the calls and it's it's just absolutely fantastic being able to help people fix their computers while you know being uh, without a phone it's just a wonderful free service and uh, this you know this was the missing link now I've got the video and it, it cost me three dollars now there's a couple steps involved in getting this to work properly um, you need to download a driver for Windows XP or Vista now what I did I typed into Google iToy webcam and there's a bunch of sites um, it'll give you a, a driver download it's a tiny download it's a compressed file so you uncompress it to a folder uh, there's two different drivers uh, there's a 30 and a 31 because there's two models of these so you need to read the model number on the back you'll see where it says that in the red number there's a 30 or a 31 so you get the proper corresponding driver to the one you have I believe the silver ones use the 31 in any event what you do after you get that downloaded and uncompressed to a folder and you know I would back that up to a CD so you have it later but you you merely you set this sucker up and you plug it in now Windows is gonna come up and it's gonna say we need to find a driver for this so you go okay yeah and then it says where should I look for the driver and then you you go ahead and click through the menu on the folder of the driver that you downloaded and then Windows will automatically install it then if you want to uh, Skype or do your video conference it's as simple as you know telling Skype to go ahead and do it and it, it just fires right up and works it's unbelievably idiot proof if you have uh, Windows Movie Maker you can plug this sucker in you go up to turn the movie maker on you go up to file click on file it'll come down and it'll say capture video so you capture video you go through yeah 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 I want to use this device it'll show up and then you hit start and it captures a video and then you hit stop when you're done filming and it saves that movie to your desktop and then you can go ahead and upload that to YouTube or delete it which is probably an even better idea so I went ahead and did this stuff already it's installed on my computer it took me not even two minutes to do it three buck webcam so I'm gonna go in the other room plug it in and uh, we'll wrap this one up well what have we here oh it's the PlayStation 2 iToy connected via USB to my Windows XP personal computer that's right folks this footage is being shot with the three dollar webcam now this represents one trip to GameStop where I made the mistake of asking the kid if he knew anything about hacking this product he turned out to be a coward now it really bothers me and I get this real reaction a lot there's nothing to be intimidated by what I do I mean I have no reason to be proud of this I mean it's not an advanced art or science you know it's if, if something breaks I get that Phillips screwdriver and open it up and take a look monkey with it if I get an idea get some stuff together do some tests and especially nowadays Google if you have an idea chances are 10 20 a thousand people have already implemented that idea so you type it into Google and there you go there's forums links uh, schematics diagrams pictures even videos so you really have no excuse now as time goes by the old people the computer haters they're gonna die and the young folks they're gonna carry that torch of innovation into the future such an exciting time we live in I mean especially when you can do something like what I did today beat the system I never would have dropped 30 40 50 bucks on a webcam and here three dollars and I got a guy telling me no 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 you know you need a professional this is what he said to me you don't need a professional you need some balls a little bit of gumption okay this video it's not for cowards okay so <laughs> I look at it like this kinda like a video game you got a bridge behind the bridge is the promised land you wanna go there 
There's a troll in front of the bridge. Once you get past him, you'll be fine. Now the troll, he represents the jagoff at GameStop. And this video is specifically not for people like that. But enough of my yakking. Thanks for joining me for Hacking for Fun with PD. The $3 webcam. Don't you know, you kooks? <laughs> what?